So these two are in place of where the ESCs would be for your right side and left side tank drive units. This would be indexing this one would switch uh, what accessory is functioning and then this would be the execute of the accessory. Here I have a 200 milliwatt laser turnage servo type relay switch. Uh, this ESC is just working as a BEC because I couldn't find a BEC laying around. Battery feeding, so the servos are running off of that BEC, not tasking the Arduino Uno. Power for the Arduino Uno comes from this battery pack at the moment. It would probably be wired off a of BEC, something so. In the big picture, the entire robot would be on one battery and we would just regulate it down from 24 volts to 6 volts for this and 5 volts for the Arduino and the RC system. So right now we've got the sketch loaded. When we hit forward, see I used a voltage divider and soldered. I left the motors in but I pulled the wheels off because there's encoders on the motors yes so when they spin they have to I mean they have to spin otherwise it gets pissed off that stuff isn't moving so this way it still goes so we're wired in parallel off the positive and negative of each motor and then we have two resistors and then that goes back to ground and then in between the resistors we tap off of each of those and come back here so when the motor is going forward one of the wires is hot, the other is just ground. When it's going backwards, the other one is hot, the other is ground. So back here, so we have six wires plus ground, plus also I have one coming off the headlight switch. Not wired up or programmed yet. So those come back here to pins A0 through A6. Then, uh, Let's see. So basically it's measuring what the voltages are doing. Then it has a threshold it compares them to. And then based on or based on how they compare, that translates and lets me remap the controls into what I want it to do, such as tank steering, weapon switch, I mean accessory switching and accessory function. So <laughs> This is forward on the Arduino. Letting off. Forward. And reverse. Now, I picture it like this is forward. So, sort of makes sense. So, if we do forward and right, Yeah, when I let off, it gave the other one gas for a moment, but uh, forward and left. And let's see. Reverse and left. Reverse and right. Yeah, I wish it didn't do that little random movement at the end, but then accessory indexing. So you could set it up so that this incrementally rotates something. Or maybe in the Arduino you program it so that each, uh, each different movement indexes between more pins coming out to change which one is controlled. Then that is using what had been the pivot right button because you cannot pivot while driving forward with the Rovio but you can strafe while driving forward so I turned that into tank style pivot while driving forward so anyways that's how this all works let's see let's 
tell it to go home and see what mayhem ensues. Hmm. Well, I'm sure that'll be fun. <laughs> 